In this video, you will learn how you can redesign your online store as a wish list to take order requests, send quotes and accept only the reservations that you wish. The online reservation settings in your account are defaulted to have the availability displayed for the customer on the online store after they place in their rental dates and times. It is also defaulted for the products to be added to a shopping cart rather than a wish list and for the online checkout to place a confirmed rental order that automatically reserves these products in your account. Follow the next steps to learn how to change this to receiving a wish list order and accepting the reservations in your own time. Go to your online store settings and click preferences and click availability. And here you can turn off availability so that your orders are not reserving products straight away. Now on your online store, you will see the availability no longer appears and that customers can add whatever products they like to their cart. An optional setting is also going down to the show prices settings and toggling off that you do not show prices on the online store. This way it's a lot easier to send tailored quotes to your customers when they place order requests. Now you can go to your translation settings in your account and you will find every word that appears for your customers on the website, documents and emails that you can change. First, start in your online reservations panel. These will be all of the words on your web page such as add to cart that you can change to add to a wish list for example. And you can make sure to check the entire list of every panel to make sure that you've translated every instance of that word. Next, you can click the cart panel, where you can change all the wording that appears in the pop-up cart. Changing all instances of the word cart to wishlist, for example, and all instances of the word order to request is a good way to show customers that they are not placing a confirmed reservation order yet. And these changes will appear on the pop-up shopping cart box now, which will just appear as a wishlist box to place requests. Lastly, you can click the online checkout panel in your translation settings where you can change all of the words like order that appear in your online checkout. This will further relay to the customer that they are only placing a request rather than an order at this point. It is also a good idea to have online payments switched off for the checkout, which you can find the tutorial link for in the description box below. Now, when your customers will visit your online store, they will firstly, obviously, add in their preferred dates and times. But after they do that, they will not be shown the availability of the products. They can simply click into your catalogue or your collections page and be shown a catalogue of products that they can add to a wish list. And they'll be directed to add this to their wish list and place an order request rather than a confirmed reservation. In your account, this order will now appear, rather than a reserved order, it will appear as a draft order. The order below is an order that we have made before making these changes. So the order would already appear as reserved, even partially paid for, and the products would have already been taken out of availability before you could check the order, and the order would also appear on the reservation calendar. Now, because of the changes that we have made in your account, the order uh, appears as a draft order. Draft orders are simply the requests you will now get from customers with their wishlist products, uh, which you can of course change the pricing for or add on custom lines and charges. You can also of course add in discounts or coupon codes, which will all reflect on the quote or the payment link that you will send to the customer. Once you are happy with the prices of all of your products, you can generate a quote by clicking create quote or create contract if you would like the document to also include your waiver forms or of course you can click the pro forma button to send an invoice. Here Bookable has a pre-automated template that appears with all of the information the customer has entered online. You can go ahead when you're happy with the quote to click that send email button, choose one of Bookable's handy email templates and send the quote as an attachment on an email. You can also send an attachment of other documents alongside the same email. 
And once you speak to the customer and confirm this order, either over the phone, in person or via email, you can click into the quote again. Uh, if they're in person with you, it's handy to take a signature on site for this quote or contract or invoice. And then you can click the reserve or finalize button at the top in green to place the confirmed stamp. Back in your order, it is your job also to move this to reserved once you are happy with the order and you're all set. You have now learned the steps you can take to redesign your online store as a wish list to take order requests, send quotes and only accept the reservations that you want to.